was filled on the deficient area and dropped part of the social membrane. This photo shows the post-operative and pre-operative and post-operative vertical distance. You can see the huge amount of vertical augmentation. Post-operative panel of view, second operation. You can see the severe defect is completely replaced by two spawn graft material and newborn. Defect was apex of the second premolar. After graft, we fully gave the eyeball upon newborn level. At the second operation, vertical and horizontal width of graft bone is well maintained. Five months after surgery, final restoration was installed to the patient. Although soft tissue remodeling is still insufficient uh, due to the short use of provisional restoration, it will become more and more remodeling. Before restoration, after restoration, after surgery, second operation, final restoration. Before surgery, you can see the big defect of the affected site. Uh, and you can find excellent newborn formation and around the fixture. So, sticky bone and sticky tooth bone. NCGF and CGF membrane. Ultrasonic pediatric bone surgery. And the minimized autogenous tooth bone, CGF, AFG, sticky bone, Santa, and ultrasonic pediatric device make the procedure simple, safe, and easy. And even the results are excellent compared to the other bone graft graft. So I would like to say that the collaboration of all these things can be the novel gold standard for bone graft and implant surgery. This novel gold standard is minimal invasive, simplest, and most effective procedure. Today the theme is 55 years of implant dentistry. Where are we now? I would say that we are here, minimum invasive, maximum impact. Thank you for your kind attention.